Welcome back. I mentioned to you that a dictionary's values can hold any sort of data type. But what about the keys? Up until now, I've only used strings to denote a key. But could I do something like this? Could I do one, two, three, like this? Well, let's have a look. Let's give it a try. If I do one, two, three, and I click run, I get one, two, three. Awesome, that works. Um, what about what about true? If I select, if I have a key true, and I click run, will that work? Yep, it looks like it works. What about a list? What if I have a list of, let's say, just a hundred? Would that work? If I click run, nope, it doesn't work. It says unhashable type list. What does that mean? Dictionary keys need to have a special property. A key needs to be immutable. That is, a key cannot change. And numbers, booleans, I mean, this is a value that cannot change. A string, if you remember, is a value that cannot change. It's immutable. But a list, if you remember, can be changed, right? On a list, I can reassign, let's say, the index of zero to something else, right? So because of that, a dictionary says, hey, my keys, because I'm storing them in memory and I don't want to lose them, it has to be something that isn't going to change on me. Maybe a programmer comes in and by mistake changes this array of 100 to have an index of something else. Well, dictionary doesn't really want that because it doesn't want to lose this value. So a dictionary key always has to be immutable. And as we learn a few other things, like a tuple that we'll see in upcoming videos, you can use those as keys as well. However, most of the time, 95, 99% of the time, a key for a dictionary is usually something descriptive like a string. Okay, but what about this? What if we have another string, one, two, three? And let's just remove this for now. What happens when I search for one, two, three, the string? If I click run, I get hello. A key in a dictionary has to be unique because there can only be one key because that key is going to represent a bookshelf in that memory space. So anytime I do the same key and maybe add a value, it's going to overwrite. So this no longer exists. A key has to be unique and it's something that can only exist, well, just once. Otherwise, we overwrite it which is why you see hello here. We've lost the array one, two, three. Let's explore this idea a little bit more in the next video.